Hi, I'm Teresa Young, Relationship Master Coach, and welcome to your Making Moves Motivation. Helping you to truly have the fullness of love, life, and relationships of all kinds that you desire and deserve. For today's motivation, I would like you to think about, is your romantic relationship on fire? As the months and years go by, we can tend to start coasting in our romantic relationships. And coasting is a dangerous state which can lead to the whole foundation of any romantic relationship crumbling away without us even knowing why. Over time, we can lose our tenderness, our thoughtfulness, our understanding, our patience and the general effort that we make towards our partner. Getting comfortable is fine, that's absolutely okay, but just don't let the romance fizzle out completely. The following 10 simple ways to get closer to your romantic partner can help you to create a loving, diamond dazzling, healthy relationship that brings you and your partner excitement and fulfillment every single day. Now you might not be able to use all of these strategies every single day, try to spread them throughout the week. And you also might not be able to maintain that same level of butterflies that you had when you first started dating. But you can certainly do your best to help make your partner feel loved and special every single day. So here are 10 simple ways to get closer to your romantic partner. However, before I continue, if you've not already subscribed to this channel, then remember to do so and turn your notifications on by clicking that bell so you don't miss out on more life transforming content to live your best life. And if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Now let's get back to today's topic. Number one, tell them that you love them. And not in the robotic, not thinking about it kind of way, such as the love you. Say it and truly mean it. Even look into their eyes. Each word you think and you speak has powerful effects. So also do your best to use loving words in your conversations with your partner. Number two is kiss them. Just because you've been in a relationship for a long time, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy a good old smooch. Now, see if you can turn the quick see you later pecs into engaging kisses with your partner on a daily basis. This will help to leave them feeling special, just like when you had your first kiss. Number three is compliment. Let your compliments come in a moment and really mean the thing that you say because your partner is more likely to believe you and also feel good about the thing that you have said. My Making Moves Motivation video on how to give a good compliment can help you with this and I will drop a link to this in the comment section or description section below. Number four is gratitude. Thank you is an unbelievably powerful pair of words, especially if your partner needs to hear them or isn't expecting them. Most people like to be thanked for the things that they do, even if they are meant to be doing them. Being appreciated can really encourage your partner. So a little goes a long way if you can give a genuine thank you when appropriate. Number five is do some chores. Now, this might not seem particularly romantic, but if you could save your partner from doing some of the domestic jobs that they don't like doing, it could well be appreciated. Number six is just hang out. Get creative about the way that you spend time with your partner. Could you have a movie fest evening whereby you sit back, watch a couple of your partner's favorite movies, eat some of your partner's favorite snacks? Could you go out for dinner or ordering some delicious food from your partner's favorite restaurant. Maybe you could even make the effort to get involved with some of the things that your partner loves doing, even if you're not the biggest fan. You could perhaps even have a duvet morning at the weekend where you both just sit, chat and have a giggle. Hanging out can be an excellent way to amplify your connection with your partner. Number seven is surprise, surprise. Just as you like receiving pleasant surprises, other people enjoy receiving them too. 
Experience the joy of sharing this with your partner. Could you make them breakfast? Buy them a gift? Cook their favourite meal? It's time to get your thinking cap on. Number eight is be present. Life and work distractions can tend to be dominant in our mind and this can leave little time and energy for our partner. And when we have been in a relationship for a certain amount of time, we tend to not listen or talk properly to each other. So even if you're not particularly interested in what your partner is talking about, or you feel like you have heard it all before, being fully present is one of the greatest gifts that you can give to your partner. So take time to fully listen, to put your devices down and to focus on what your partner is saying. And if you find your mind wandering to tasks and responsibilities, bring it back. And here is a bonus tip for you. Rather than asking how was your day at the end of a long day, which is likely to return a standard reply such as fine, how was yours? Use other questions such as what made you smile today? What was the most challenging part of your day? You may be pleasantly surprised to hear the responses that you get. And not only that, it will give you greater insight into your partner. Number nine is get it on. Unless you have committed to an asexual relationship, sex, sexual contact and touching, which can include holding hands, cuddling, kisses, are key ingredients for a romantic relationship. The regularity, of course, is entirely up to you, but make an effort to understand what your partner's ideas are around it, because that can help you to avoid misunderstandings and resentment. Number 10 is create a weekly ritual to check in with one another. It can be short or long, but it starts with you both asking each other what worked and what didn't work in the previous week and what things can be done to improve the coming week. It's also an opportunity for you both to sit back and plan your schedules. What time will you have to hang out? And how will you see your relationship going in the coming days, weeks and months? Without having intentional time to do a temperature check on your relationship, it can lead to unmet needs and bitterness. So there you have it. 10 simple ways to get closer to your romantic partner. Enjoy and have fun. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. How do you get close to your romantic partner? Do any of the 10 activities I've mentioned resonate with you? Let's talk about this. Drop a comment below. Again, I'm Teresha Young, your Relationship Master Coach, and I'm here to help us to connect, evolve, and rise together so that you are truly able to have the fullness of love, life, and relationships of all kinds that you desire and deserve. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.